Hi, it's me, Creative Katie, Karen Virgil. Welcome to my channel, Mixed Media Creations. Today we have an art journal page tutorial. It's entitled Imagine Bliss. So I'm starting off today's page with a gel print. This is a gel print that I created with a plaid look, and I'll put a link to that video. And I have an 8x10 gel plate, so that covers perfectly the size of this mixed media art journal, which is, I think it's a 7x10. So I am just going to glue this down with gel medium, and you can use Mod Podge as well. I'm just going to push it down and grab my brayer, it just happened to be there, get out any air bubbles, and make sure that I've got a good seal on it. This is a quick, easy way to have an instant background. I wanted sky and I, you know, just wanted to do something quick and easy. And so that's a good way of using those gel prints that you have. So once that dries, I'm just gonna trim off the excess and background is done. Just making sure all the edges are, are glued down and everything's good to go. So now that I have the background, I will need to decide what focal point that I'm going to do. And I was flipping through my magazine clippings and I came across, and you can just see it at the very top, it says, imagine bliss. And it's the sentiment that I use for this. And I thought, you know what? Bliss for me is working in my studio, having creative moments, and cre and my yard and garden. So I grabbed this stencil. It's a Crafter's Workshop stencil, and it's called Wisteria. But I flipped it the other way. Instead of hanging, Wisteria hangs from above and drops. To me, I like the look of this, making this into like stalks or like hollyhocks, some, you know, abstract flower. So I have dioxazine purple, I have Prussian blue, I have quinacridone magenta, and I'm using all those colors to fill and build my garden. You can use any color combination. If you want corals or pinks, yellows, you could do the same with anything. So look at your stencils. I just wanted to make a tall garden here. I'm using a makeup sponge to apply the paint through the stencil. So once I have the colors on the background, I just want to build this up so to give it a look of 3D and to make it look lusher and fuller. And so I just kind of bump the stencil a little bit and I'm going in with some white, some lighter colors and some darker colors. And you'll see the effect that you get and hopefully you see a little bit of that 3D. At the back of my mind, I'm thinking I was gonna put um, texture paste at some point in time here. So some of these were actually 3D, but I didn't do that, but you could totally do that. So if you're worried that you only have, you know, a, a limited amount of stencils, make the most of them. You can bump them, you can build them up, you can, you know, add to them. So there's a little bit of white and now I'm going back in with different colors. The makeup sponges that I have here, I spray them with my Murphy's oil soap mixture and then I wash them out when I'm done and you can get repeated uses from them. And I just get those at the dollar store. Underneath, I'm working on the Tim Holtz, Holtz's Glass Media. Um, I love this because it has that palette area off to the side. You have the workspace, which I'm on top of, that's black and it's got grid, so it's perfect for card makers and the like. But then I love having the mixing palette on the other side. And it's just 
it just works so well. And the cleanup is, is a breeze. I spray it with the Murphy's oil soap and it comes right off. So I'm very happy with my decision to leave the craft mat behind and go with the, this media mat. So there you can see the, what I'm going to call our stocks. And there is the sentiment that I had. And that came right out of a magazine and I had just clipped it. You know, on those days where you're going through magazines and I clip them and I have these in a file folder. And every once in a while I grab one. So the color and the sentiment, everything just worked together. I think I'm going to steal this sentiment and use it on other things as well because I, I like the I like the sentiment. Just edging it a little bit with the Prussian blue just to bring that blue into what else, you know, into the sentiment that already fits quite well. Links to any products that I can find Amazon links to will be in the description description box below and if you shop through those links I do get a small commission and I'd like to thank you for supporting my channel that way you can also support my channel by making a direct donation through my PayPal link or sharing the video leaving a comment all those things make a big difference If you're not already a subscriber, you may want to hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Even if you are a subscriber, you may want to check and select the option of being notified as soon as a new video is uploaded. Click on the bell to do that. So I'm using light and fluffy modeling paste from the Crafters Workshop and this stencil, which is also from the Crafters Workshop. I think it's called Solid Butterfly. And I wasn't too happy with that one, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to scrape it right off. Everything underneath it is permanent, and I'm just going to go with that one solitary butterfly. So where's your bliss? What gives you joy? Leave a comment below. So now I'm at the stage where I'm just doing some finishing and a lot of these little finishing pro acts really make a difference. Here I'm just grabbing my angle brush and I am floating acrylic or shading around the outside edge just to frame the art journal page. I would say I do this 99% of the time. Sometimes I use black but there's no black in this picture at all even in the sentiment. So black wouldn't be a good fix, so that's why I'm using blue. You can use a Stabilo All pencil, a watercolor pencil, ink tents, to do the same thing. I do find that using the glass media um, plate works really well with the float, floating acrylic technique as well. Glass media mat, that's what it's called. The only bad thing about the media, glass media mat is when my book isn't right there, you do see a reflection of me in the mat. And I'm just shading around the sentiment. So these colors are also my bliss. Purple, the blue, the white, the pink. In fact, when I started art journaling uh, almost four years ago, most of my pages were purples and pinks. Grab my fine line bottle and I'm just adding a little bit more detail and outlining the page.
If you do something similar inspired from this video, please tag me. I would love for you to join my Facebook group, Mixed Media Creations. Love to see you posting your work there too. So give this a try. If you start with a gel plate, gel print, or a collage sheet as an instant background. Have fun. Stay tuned for pictures of the final page. As well, at the end of the video, I will put some end cards where I recommend other videos that may use the same kind of techniques you've seen here, the same products, or in some other way are related. Happy creating!